This year, the Partners Life Dual Multi-Sport Race is celebrating its 10th year. Every entry pays for four trees to be planted, so it's played a huge part in helping save Motatapu, Auckland's island sanctuary. The story of the island and its relatively new neighbour Rangatoto is both remarkable and colourful. You know, as an Aucklander, I've seen these islands pretty much every day, but I haven't had a good look at them from the air yet. But first, let's make sure I'm the only pest setting foot on the island today. Colin here's from Doc. Colin, what are you looking for? Bindi here is trying to sniff out rats, rats and mice, so any rodents that you've got in your bag there, she'll tell us straight off. See, she's pretty happy, so I'm rat free, am I? Reckon you're rat free, yep, pretty good. Really cool from up here, so stunning. And you can really see from the sky just how different these two islands are. We're just heading from the volcanic rock of Rangatoto. We're about to head across Islington Bay, I believe it is, towards Maratapu, which is the fertile farmland, and she's all test free. For my first 24 hours on the island, my tour guide is local farmer and restoration trust stallwolf, Rick Braddock. Yeah, Rick, how you doing? Nice to meet you. When Rick arrived 25 years ago, the islands were covered in rats, rabbits, possums, feral cats and weeds. Rick and the Trust helped Doc and the local iwi implement the world's largest pest eradication program. And now the islands have come to life again. Just step off the helicopter and bump into some of the locals, the Takahe. Now, you think the kiwi is rare? There's only about 300 of these birds in existence anywhere. They were thought to be extinct until they were discovered, rediscovered in 1948 in Fiordland. So it's safe for the birds, but you've still got to give them somewhere to live. Hey Mark, this is the uh, Mototapu Island Trust's uh, nursery. Yeah. This is a spade. Yeah. How about we go and plant a tree? Yeah, all right. I've actually killed some rats with a spade before, you know. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty handy with one of these. Right, so what am I going to plant? Well, I think maybe a, a pahutakawa today. Yeah, nice. And thanks to that volcanic eruption 600 years ago, I can plant my tree in just about the best soil in New Zealand. Congratulations. Looks great. What am I trying to achieve with my tree? Uh, you're wanting the pahutakawa, which is the New Zealand Christmas tree, the native tree, to be an example um, of what can be done to regenerate a native forest in New Zealand. So this is all planted by hand, all retired. The whole valley on the left as we go up has all been planted with volunteer labour over the last 25 years. This still feels very uh, military, hey? Even got the sound. It's the Second World War. That's a big part of the island's heritage as well, by the looks of it. Yeah, you've got all of these overlapping histories of occupation and usage, and this, what we're standing on, was the main defence for Auckland in 1942. It's a hell of a view, too. It's a fantastic view. No one's sneaking up this harbour, unseen. Well, it's hard not to fall in love with these islands. So peaceful, so full of life, and so close to our biggest city and I've just scratched the surface of their 180 million year history. I've had a day and a night on the island and what an experience and what a good story as well. The good news for all of us is there's so much more to come.